was doing the uh, the music video for Escape from New York, I noticed a couple of things when I was watching it. It was like it was kind of it was kind of cool to watch it back, and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit on it about movie editing, film editing. It's not like it, it's not as simple. It's it's about timing. It's about musical notes. It doesn't have to be exactly on. It can be on the off rhythm as well. It doesn't have to be exactly on the on, on the note on the beat. It can be on the off beat as well. But it has to coincide with what the music dictates as well. And I have you have to kind of like tell your own little story with the movie clips. And that comes from a bit of experience. I've been editing for a good few years. When I was editing years ago, I was editing on Final Cut Pro X. And one thing I noticed at one point, I was trying to learn everything in one go, and it was breaking my fucking head. It was like, fuck, man, how am I going to learn all the detail, all the gadgets that are on Final Cut Pro X? And then a light bulb moment hit. It was like, okay, one clip in front of the other, all the other showy stuff. If I need it, I can try and find out about it. But basically, it's about timing. It's about timing, and it's about telling the story and what to cut and what not to cut. Sometimes, but it, over time, it, it, you, you'll be able to do it like muscle memory and, and it's kind of like when you see something it's kind of like what, what and it'll tell you what is working and what's not working right so kind of like there was a couple of clips in there that I, that I couldn't use in there because it wasn't working and I had to, you had to chop them down I had to make them work inside that clip and then it would change with the music when the music goes up when it goes down and towards the end it's a bit it's a bit more kind of like uh, sympathetic so you use a bit more sympathetic scenes and when the when the main chorus part comes in, then you try to use the actioner parts and and make sure that I wasn't overshadowing the, the original music video as well. If you, if you do if you show too much, you will overshadow that, and then it'll be too clunky. And then obviously when you cut over the original video, you have to when it comes back into the original video, you don't want to be cut because there's, there's a, there was original cuts on the um, original video. So when you cut back into it, you don't want the cut to last one or two frames, and then it would too, be too uh, it wouldn't be pleasing to the eye, it wouldn't flow correctly. So, editing is simple, but, it, but it's muscle memory and it's kind of, and you have to care as well. When I was doing the edit, it's an ode to John Carpenter's Escape from New York and his theme song. I don't want to, I don't want to just go in there and go, oh, I'll just throw a few, a few clips together. I'd rather ask him, to be honest, but it'd be too hard to ask John Carpenter, can I fuck around with your music video and your song? But at least I can try and improve on the original video, in my mind anyway, improve on it a tiny bit and care about it. Like I want it to look good, I want it to look, the ratio had to be changed a little bit on it. Some of the clips didn't work so I had to take them out. There was two clips I couldn't find. The clip when Kurt Russell jumps from the car at the end, right at the end of the film, jumps from the car, car with his hands out, I couldn't find that clip. And I wanted that clip because when he jumps, it looks like he jumps into the symbol. So that, that's it. If it goes with the music, it looks like he crashes into the Zildjian symbol on the drum set. And the other one was uh, when the uh, the Duke jumps over the fifth, 59th bridge or whatever it is, and he lands on all four wheels. I wanted that with a particular uh, drum fill there as well. So it's it wasn't it's not it wasn't just throwing a few things together. I actually cared about making it right with a few clips on the existing music and the existing video of John Carpenter. So I think it worked really good, but that's what, that's what movie editing really is. And it's just about timing. It's about musical notes. It's about feeling it. It doesn't, it doesn't, there's a, there's a feel right. There's a look right. There's something that's not, just not right there. It has to be trimmed a bit. Sometimes the, the clip doesn't work at all. It doesn't tell any story. It doesn't accompany anything with it. It's just off, and you feel it. It's like, ah, oh, it's just not right. It's just not right. It just it has to be... But you have to care about it, though. You have to care about it. And if you don't care about it, you're just like, ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Just put it in. You know, so... So I was looking back on it, and I thought I'd do a small little video on video and movie editing, because it's muscle memory, like martial arts, or driving, or traveling, driving, or whatever you want to call it. It's muscle memory, and you have to do it enough that you it becomes like second nature and then you know when something's off you know when it's off a tiny bit you know so yeah so I, some of it works really really good it works good with it and anyone can edit it's one clip in front of the other but to edit good 
you have to know when to take things out and when things are not working. And like I said, have a feel for it. It's a rhythm. It's a movement with it. Just say the part when the Duke drives in, in the music video clip, if you look back at it, it the music changes and it goes more into a bass kind of theme and kind of like uh, crescendos down. Okay, it doesn't crescendo up, it crescendos down and then it goes with the Duke arriving. Right, so that really worked well with the music video. If you look back at it, and uh, and like the other thing was, like I said, is not to overshadow the music video, to accompany it and make it better. I yield.